Hey everybody, my name is Ken. I'm the founder of Happy Speakers Academy and today I'm glad that I could share with you something that I have actually come up with which is called the 7 step formula to preparing anything or any presentation that you want. This 7 step formula is what I have actually developed from studying many books on presentation skills and from all the audios that I have actually listened to, all the videos and all the seminars and also some of the, the real life experience that I have put into use in preparing a 5 to 7 minute speech to a 30 minutes long speech and you can use the same formula as well in your next presentation. Have you ever had this challenge where you try to prepare your speech? You sit down on a desk and you try to come up with ideas and you have these looping ideas. You want to talk about this and then as the time goes by, you crafted a few sentences and then you go around and say, oh, maybe this is not a good thing. I should change uh, the way I should present. I should change a different topic. And because the reason we have that, because we do not have a clear idea of exactly how to begin, how to flow through the presentation to the end and that's the reason why we have these looping ideas and in this seven step formula there's only three here because there are four that's going to come in later there are seven step formula that you can follow right now and if you follow that you would churn up your speech preparation in writing your speech and crafting a well crafted speech better and faster so let's jump into the seven step formula that I'm talking about. There is one, two, three, here. So what is this seven step formula is all about? The first thing, many people ask me, Ken, Kian, what is the best way to start a speech? If I was to give, given a choice on how I want to start a speech, my preference is always start with a questions and it might be different for many people because a lot of professional speakers say the best way to start stories is to start a speech is to start with a stories and I have a different point of view and the reason for that is very simple because I think in a in this new like in in this new environment where we want to present and we want to connect with the audience the best way is just start with a questions because when you ask a questions you relate to the audience and the audience responds to you and you engage the audience right away and this I think is very very important and if we start with a stories which is good because stories emotionally connect you with the audience but it oftentimes story takes a while before you can introduce the character, the plot into the stories before you can engage the audience. You know, but if I were to give them a choice, when I come on stage, the first thing I would do, I would ask a question, engage them first. But not any questions. The questions that you should ask is what I call the first thing, question with humor. The first thing I want to do, I want to ask a framing questions. A what question? A framing questions. A framing questions with humor. What do I mean? Let's say, so I have developed actually a speech that I gave using this seven step formula. I was just, I have one hour of time to prepare. So I prepared this speech in one hour and I presented it. It's a, it's a short seven minute speech presentation that I, I will show you later on uh, as part of this video series that I will show you the seven series that put into place the seven step formula. and. I'm going to show you what, what are the skills that are being implied and the examples so that you can see what are the formula here and what are the real examples that are in place and in play during my presentation. So the first thing I will ask a framing question with humor. The speech that I'm, the, uh, to give you a context, the speech that I talk about is the core message of my speech is love is not a trait. Love is not a trait, then everything has some reason for it and it is fated. Love is not a trait and it is fated. So, the first questions I come in, I ask everyone. Ladies and gentlemen, can I have a show of hand? How many of you here 
are involved in some sort of trading business. I frame them. How many of you are involved in some sort of trading business? And how many of you are not? And how many of you won't raise your hand no matter what I say? So that's what I call the rolling tree questions. Uh, walk to your right hand side and say, how many of you say yes? And some of them will raise their hand. You walk to the left hand side and you say, how many of you are not? And some of them will raise their hand. And you walk back into the middle of the stage. Depends on how big your stage is. For me, it's, it's only here. But it depends on how big is your stage. So you want to walk on your right hand side and you walk a little bit on your left hand side. And then you want to raise your left hand, right hand. And then you say, how many of you won't raise your hand no matter what I say. And you straight away get a laughter. You connect with your audience right away at the beginning of your presentation in us by asking three questions. This is what I call the rolling three questions. And then, how do you frame them? The next thing you want to say is, in the next X minutes or hours, you need to be specific. So after I ask the two, the three questions, the rolling three questions, the next thing that I want to say is, then, in the next 8 minutes and 45 seconds, you will realize that whether you raise your hand or you don't, you are in some sort of trading business. Do you see? Three questions followed by this. This, you have to be specific. Many people say, oh, today you will learn... X, Y, Z, boom, 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 boom. But that's nothing. You say, in the next 34 minutes, you will discover that you are in fact in a trading business. You will discover, you will realize, you will, you will learn. You, know? you want to tell them what, which minute exactly, be specific, in terms of when you're describing something. So, so let's go on to the second one. 